Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it is almost over. I'd say about another hour in the snow ending in Rhode Island and about an hour later in uh, southeastern Massachusetts. We take a look at places like Narragansett and Newport along the South Shore. At this hour, it's still snowing at a pretty good clip coming down at a moderate level and the roads are covered and slippery, so be careful. But it is almost over. Temps in the low to mid 20s haven't really changed that much between roughly 20 and 25. Providence 24, Newport 25 and Westerly coming in at 25 as well. So threat tracker for this evening. Still keeping it yellow for a while longer. Certainly roads are slippery, at least the untreated ones. Uh, as expected of the most snowfall and it really hasn't been that much uh, across southeastern areas and that the snow winding down shortly. Overall, the weekend is looking OK through Sunday day, but we're going to watch our next system for Sunday. Sunday night. So clouds are on the increase. The daylight hours are dry, but a mixture of some snow, sleet and rain. But it's not until later Sunday night into uh, Monday morning. That's the next chance for precipitation. In the meantime, uh, the back edge of the precipitation now getting closer to Connecticut, Rhode Island border. You see some partial clearing off to our west and drier air. And that's pretty much what's headed our way for your Saturday. It looks pretty good. Storm system offshore. We actually have our lightning tracker turned on some thunderstorms offshore. This is racing to the north and east. And it's one reason why we weren't really forecasting large amounts of snow to begin with, just for the simple fact that it was only about you know, five or six hours worth of snow and the whole system is pulling away rapidly. So we'll get in real close. Walk you through this next 24 hours. Starting off right about now at 11 o'clock e in the evening, the back edge of the snow passing through the Providence metro area continues to move off. Uh, to the east by one o'clock in the morning, clearing the entire coastline. Already seeing clearing working in, so a cold night. There's no melting, you know, untreated surfaces, side roads, your walkway, and things like that. It'll be slippery and slick, so be careful early in the morning traveling on some neighborhood streets and on foot. But otherwise, it's you know a decent day. Starting off with sunshine, temperatures in the afternoon recover to the uh, low 30, so sunny, chilly, and dry. No big weather problems. And then tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, we are clear, cold, and dry as temperatures fall back into the low 20s by 11 o'clock. Final snowfall amounts, 90% of this has occurred already. This general area in pink south and east of Providence on the order of one to three, meaning as little as one to as much as three, though most locations are going to kind of verify on the lower end of this forecast and just a, a coating to uh, maybe a half inch the further north and west you go. But it's enough to cause some slippery travel, so be careful. Tomorrow morning, sunshine, 25 to start the day, so cold and dry. And during the afternoon, a few extra clouds early afternoon may block the sun for a little bit. Uh, low to mid 30s should do it for high temps. And again, Sunday day looks fine. A mixture, a frozen mixture Sunday night changing to actually plain rain on Monday as temperatures warm up to around 40. If you're watching us down in Westerly, Narragansett, Newport, still coming down at a pretty good clip, but it will end shortly. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphone and into tablets as well. Not a huge amount, but enough to, to make the roads um, not good. Yeah, be a little careful out yeah. there. All right, thank you, Tony.